everyone and welcome to the ClickFunnels Brick and Mortar Summit. My name is Bailey Richard and right now I'm delighted to bring to you a presentation by Dr. Anissa Holmes. Dr. Holmes is a dentist, business acceleration coach, social media strategist, best-selling author and leader in the dental industry. Dr. Holmes has coached and advised coaches, million dollar practice owners and startup practices. Based on her massive success, Dr. Holmes has been featured in top dental publications, top best-selling business books, and has also been a featured speaker at Social Media Marketing World. Her Delivering Wow Dental Practice podcast has listeners in over 100 countries. So let's go see what Dr. Anissa Holmes has to share with us today. So first of all, I am super excited to be presenting on this topic and today I am talking all about dental funnels. Now what I'm going to be sharing with you today is perhaps going to be something that you'd never thought possible. In fact, many people inside of our ClickFunnels community uh, with dental services and healthcare services lots of times create funnels that are really focused on discounting, right? Can we give a $500 off coupon or a $39 for dental cleaning? And so what I'm actually going to be sharing today is what actually works. How do we get warm leads in? How do we be, how are we able to have um, higher conversions of our funnels? And I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys. So just to tell you a little bit about myself, I am a dentist. Um, I've practiced for 20 years. And interestingly, about three or four years ago, um, I actually went to my first FHL conference. And I was going there to learn about ClickFunnels because I had a Facebook course for dentists. Um, and so when I was there, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this community. I love what people are doing. Um, ultimately, at the end of that conference, I actually signed up for Inner Circle. Um, I signed up to go to Kenya. And for me, why are we doing this? It's all to be able to make an impact, um, either in our families or in the world. And so that's my really big why and why I really love sharing and helping as many people as possible learn um, what I'm about to teach you today. So again, today we're talking all about dental funnels. And what I'm going to be sharing is what I shared in my chapter, which is how you can actually, I think that the task was like, how can we get a hundred? Um, what I'm going to share with you today is going to be how you can get way, way more a hundred. Um, if you follow these steps. So again, inside of my book, what we're talking about are four different phases. And the first phase is really building a warm audience for Facebook right? And this is the key. And lots of times what happens with funnel hackers is we get excited and we start building funnels, right? And what happens is that we are sending them out to a cold audience, people who don't know us. And when you're sending or forming a relationship with people that don't know you, the only thing that you can do is compete on price, right? And Russell teaches all of us that that you, know, you don't have to compete on price. And he talks about even when he's stacking funnels, add more value, add more value, add more value, and then price becomes irrelevant. And so that's what happens with dental funnels, right? So phase one, we're gonna talk about how do you build the warm audience? How do you create that value, right? The second phase within really having success with dental or even healthcare funnels or even brick and mortar funnels, to be honest with you, um, is once you build up those audience, um, start running funnels and your, obviously your email nurture sequences, which many people know all about, right? Um, from there, what you want to do, as Russell talks about all the time, is you continue to drive traffic, right? And so we're going to talk about how do you build that buzz? How do you nurture leads, leads? And then how do you continue that process so that you can have this repeatable month after month after month? Okay, so again, what we're talking about, not only for dental, but for any brick and mortar, is really looking at creating shareable content, creating community engagement campaigns, which we're going to talk about, and our funnel is, is right there. It's our next logical step. So before I get into my, my steps, I really want to teach this concept. I think it's really, really valuable, and how we can really have success, right? How we can get sometimes a hundred, even within a month, right? I have been able to actually do that, to be able to get um, actually over a hundred leads to my dental practice within actually a day or so, all right? So I'm going to share how we did that. And it's really going through this process, right? This funnel of having awareness, right? How do people hear about us? How do we generate those leads that turn into prospects that ultimately turn into raving fans. And for a local business or a healthcare business, as we know, word of mouth is the most 
valuable form of, of marketing or the most valuable patients that we can get. And before digital marketing, it would take a really long time to get there. Now it funnels and digital marketing, we're able to get that process to really happen very, very quickly. So the first thing that I really want everyone to get um, is number one, what do you want people to, to know about your practice? What do you want to be known for, right? So for me, my practice is known for number one, seeing people on time. We're known for beautiful, natural looking dentistry, and we're known for delivering amazing wow experiences. When you come in, we have coffee, we have tea, we have freshly baked plantain tarts, we have hot chocolate for the kids, right? Um, we have uh, warm peppermint scented towels after the procedures. We have iPads to take away the sound, right? We're known for giving people an amazing experience. And so any form of marketing that we're doing, whether it's gonna be for our Facebook ads or Instagram ads, when people are calling on the phone, when I'm doing a Facebook Live inside of our funnels, we want to continue. This is really important, guys, to let people know what you want to be known for. Because interestingly, you can actually manufacture what people say about you. And then when you pour in your, your online traffic and your funnels into it, like you can grow like you have never, ever thought possible, right? So that's the first thing, establishing your brand, which we do in the digital world. Number two, we want to nurture and connect. We want people to see, again, this is healthcare, right? Funnels for brick and mortars are very, very different than digital funnels. And interestingly, I am a dentist, right? I've been running Facebook ads since, I mean, it's been 2010, right? I've been running funnels for several years now, and I also have programs for dentists, right? So I see and I live in both worlds, but brick and mortar is completely different. And we want to look at how can we have people to see us as someone that is different, right? What's unique about us? How are we serving the community? And once we have that connection, all of a sudden, again, they're becoming raving fans, okay? So once you nurture and connect, once people see what you're doing for the community, once they see what is unique about your business? Again, every dental practice does fillings, right? Every dental practice does cleanings, right? But the fact that, for example, we treat 100 kids for free a few times a year, or the fact that we give a small makeover um, to someone inside of our community, right? The fact that we partner with local businesses is huge and people really, really love that. Interestingly, a lot of times um, our marketing is not even about teeth. It's about impact and people love to follow that sort of stuff, right? Um, after you build your warm leads, again, we're going to show you exactly how here in my plan for the book. The next thing you want to do is you want to offer people the next logical step. So now you have the warm audience. And interestingly, what I'm going to share with you today, it doesn't have to take a year. You're able to follow the process of what I'm going to teach you today. And in just a matter of weeks, you can now have warm leads going to your funnel. All right. So the next logical step is your funnel. From there, we are continuing to build raving fans, right? We're offering additional higher value services. And for dentistry, what that means is now that people know us, now that people are going to our funnels, right? Now, what will happen is I can get on, for example, and do a Facebook Live and talk about three different ways that you can replace your missing teeth, right? One of those is dental implants, right? And that's now nurturing high value. I've got a warm audience. I've got my funnel built. And from there, I can actually send people to my funnel, right? To be able to make an appointment and say, you know what, guys? I've cleared out three spots this week. Um, I'd love for you to come in. If you're serious and you're ready to get started with replacing your miss missing teeth and beautifying your smile and getting back your self-confidence, we've got three spots, right? And I can send them to a funnel page where we can, one, collect their email address and number two, we can have them to actually request an appointment and come in, right? Or we can send them to a quiz where they can see um, if they are a candidate for the procedure, right? Or we can send them to an article page in our funnel. Again, I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. All right. So again, phase one is building a warm audience, right? And I typically use Facebook, right, for dental. We also use Instagram as well, which is obviously connected with Facebook, but for the demographic for dental patients, our target market, again, I am a dentist. I am a marketer. I am a dentist. So I'm going to tell you what really works, right? Um, 
The target demographic for dental patients are people who are actually probably around my age. I'm 45, right? So at this point, I've been working for a little while. I know what I want. I am concerned about the future of my health, right? I'm not young, but I'm not old yet, but I'm thinking about it, right? And so people who are my age, um, we hang out on Facebook right? And so that's going to be where you're going to get a lot of really warm traffic that you can now send um, to your funnel. All right. So let's talk about how do we build up those warm audiences, right? And again, we're looking at how are you serving your community, right? You're not talking about this week, we're giving away a $35 cleaning, right? Because guess what happens when you market that way? That's exactly what you're going to get, right? You're going to get people who are looking for a discount, who are looking for a deal, and when the next deal comes, they're going to be running to that dentist. I can tell you as a dentist and of all of my dental colleagues that we help, I help with, within the dental industry with marketing, and funnels, and Facebook ads, I can tell you we don't want that. We want high-value patients who are going to be loyal and committed, that are going to share our practice with other people, right? And so we want to show how are we serving our community, what experiences are our patients having, right? How is our business different, right? And, and guys, I really want you to get this. I know who a, a lot of people that are going through this, maybe you're brick and mortar businesses, maybe you're, you are a dental, dental practice, maybe you're a chiro practice, right? I have lots of you guys that follow me and reach out to me, but maybe you're a marketer. And if you're a marketer, I'm definitely talking to you, all right? So let's talk about some of the things that you can do really, really fast to be able to get warm audiences built up, right? Whether you are, again, doing it yourself or you're an agency um, running Facebook ads, you're going to want to have this part of it done by your clients, right? This is essentially what, what I'm doing in my digital space. I'm helping practices understand how to do this part because this is so powerful, right? Now, the first thing that you want to do, and this is really, really, really cool, is you want to look at how you can make connections with other businesses in your community. Again, this works not just for dental, but for any brick and mortar, right? Reaching out to them and saying, um, I'd love to be able to partner with you. You're doing great things in the community. I'd love to be able to connect with you. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to have a little um, social media promotion and we're gonna feature local businesses. And all we need from you is actually a gift card from your company. And what we're going to do is we're going to post a gift every single day. And what we want, um, what we're going to do is we're going to tag your, your business. And so hopefully you're going to get way more social media followers. And every single day, um, we're going to give away a prize. Now, what does that do? Number one, it allows you to run a marketing campaign on a very shoestring budget, right? Number two, it builds relationships with these businesses. So after you can go out and continue to foster a relationship with them, maybe saying, you know, I'm going to have a business every single month that I'm going to feature and we're going to do something for their teams where they can come in. Maybe you do offer a little something for their teams if they take action that month, like a 5% off um, for any services done for the teams, right? So you can continue that relationship. But what's really powerful from a strategic digital marketing strategy is you're able to significantly um, grow an engagement audience through Facebook, all right? So how these campaigns work is, again, every single day you are sharing a prize. Now, how I typically do it in my practice and what I teach practices to do is to actually first start off the promotion with Facebook Live, right? Why? Because as we know, Facebook Live, you're going to be able to get it out to a ton of people. You can ask questions, by the way, tell me what part of town you're in. Um, and when you do that, the post comments Facebook um, sees that as engagement and they push it out into more news feeds for free. Interestingly, when I run this promotion, I don't use Facebook ads, right? And I'm going to share you, share with you the results that we get and how it really works. But what happens is that people are making comments, right? To enter. So in order to enter again, first you do the, the Facebook live, right? And then what you can do is either you can continue every day um, posting your, your prize with Facebook live or you can do a video every day announcing the previous day's winner and then create your post, okay? So there's multiple ways that you can do that. But what's really powerful, again, is for people to enter, what they have to do is they actually have to comment, right? So they have to comment. And then also we say, hey, by the way, can you share this, right? Um, and so people share it. 
people comment. We post it on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. And interestingly, what has happened, you can see here, um, for my own practice, we had 96 shares, right? 108 comments. Another uh, day, we had 79 shares, 68 com comments. And interestingly, now within my own challenges that I'm doing with dental practices, we have repeated this um, and we've had hundreds of practices go through this. We've had people share and they've had an increase in engagement by 30,000%, an extra 300 Facebook likes and huge um, engagement audiences. Some of them even had 300 shares, which is, as we know, significant and huge. Okay. So again, this takes about a week. And at the end of this, now you have a really, really warm engagement audience. And interestingly, again, I'm not using Facebook ads for this. I love to run this as an organic campaign, right? We are asking people to share, right? Not to enter to win to share, but we're asking them to share. Um, and we're asking them to comment to enter to win. And as a result of that, it's just amazing what happens, right? Now, another thing that you can do is once you finish that, then the next promotion, um, which is huge on social media, is actually doing a small makeover competition, right? Again, if you're another a brick and mortar and you're watching this summit video, what, whatever you have to give away, right? So maybe it's, you know, you have a lawn care business and you're going to give away a, a year's free lawn care service, right? Um, something that will be able to help people, right? For, for us, it's a small makeover. And so um, getting on, doing a Facebook Live, and again, their strategy there of how we can get to have so many people to like it and share it. But part of it is asking those questions. What part of town are you in? And saying, you know, um, if we are able to do a small makeover, we can, we can change someone's life. Um, and you're saying, you know, please let all of your Facebook friends know um, it can just change their, someone's life. Really, really powerful. You can see here 135 shares. Um, this was for my practice, 554 likes, huge video retargeting audience. Typically, I'll spend, interestingly, only $100 on this campaign, which is crazy, to build up this audience, right? And what's really powerful as well is as a team, we get together. Um, in our own competition, we choose... Um, a few people who have sent in their entries of, of, of how um, they would, how, uh, or why they want us to choose them. And we have three people come in, they come in for a clean. But what's really, really cool is the, the, the team we connect, right? Because we're coming together for a common purpose to help someone. Um, Here's some additional results. Um, you can see here um, 881 shares. Um, this is one of the practices that have gone through our program. Um, 23,000 views, 916 um, likes, which, which of course you can invite all of those people to like your page. Um, here's another practice that after they did it, they had like 40,000 views um, of their video. And this was the reveal, like the patient, uh, actually, no, this was the patient coming in and the doctor revealed to them that they were the winner. Really powerful stuff. Like this stuff goes viral in your community. Everybody's like thinking amazing things about you and talking about you. And again, from a digital marketing standpoint, we're building up amazing, warm audiences. Okay, guys? So as you can see, I'm not talking about a $59 cleaning. I'm not talking about $500 off. I'm talking about how can we get out and build relationships with other businesses? How can we foster um, relationships with our team? How can we make an impact, right? And when we do that, again, you can run this competition for a few weeks and run it up, you know, up to a month. Um, really, really powerful what happens. And again, like my big why I can tell you is impact. Um, and when you make your big why bigger than you, it's just amazing what you can do to be able to really, really help other people. It's, it's really, really powerful. All right. So that's a few strategies of how we can build up our warm audiences. Okay. So in phase two of the book, right? What I talk about is how do you now that you have warm audiences, how do you now um, take the next logical step, right? So that is where we start running our funnels and our email nurture sequences. All right. So again, once we have our warm audiences, now we offer people the le next logical step. Okay. So these are now Facebook ads that are run in the news feeds of our video retargeting audience, of our engagement audience, right? You certainly can run additional audiences based on, um, based on location. So if people live in 
a very expensive, wealthy neighborhood. You can target by location. Um, you can retarget website visitors. Like there are definitely other lists um, that you can target as well. Um, but these audiences that we're speaking about today in the book are ones that many people are not aware of. And so that's why I wanted to bring a lot of light into what happens specifically with with building up these types of audiences, okay? And these ne next logical steps are either, again, Facebook ads where you're saying, you know, this week we're offering seven free dental implant consultations to those who qualify. Um, the benefits of dental implants are, you know, X, Y, Z, and take this quick quiz to see if you are a candidate, right? So that's typically the copy that works really well. Um, or again, what's even more powerful is if you're able to do a Facebook Live video going on and doing maybe a lunchtime Q&A about a specific service, um, or you have a patient that had a great experience and maybe they're sharing their experience um, and you can link your funnel link there as well. Mr. Joe had um, an opportunity to have his life and smile change forever. Um, click here to see um, what's possible for you right? And then from there, you can either give them your link to take the quiz, to see if they're a candidate, um, to schedule an appointment, click here to schedule your consultation, or you can send them to an article. I mean, there's just so many ways, so much flexibility in funnels, like it's just unreal, okay? <laughs> um, so again, the next logical step is sending people um, to your funnel, right? And, uh, and you can run funnels for anything. You can run funnels for dental implants, cosmetic dentistry, um, for cavities risk, cavity risk. Are you um, at risk for cavities? Take this quick quiz to find out. And questions are like, you know, do you have, do you, do you uh, drink sodas or juice, right? Because those are putting you at risk, right? Um, do you brush twice a day and floss every single day? Well, as we know, the answer for most people, right, is probably like, no, I don't, right? So the, you are at risk, right? Um, so, that's the thing. That's what we're looking at, right? Okay. Again, so just kind of taking you really quickly behind the scenes of what that looks like. Um, the next logical step from our Facebook ad or our video um, is, again, sending people to the next logical step. Now, the interesting thing with funnels is funnel links can be put anywhere. Um, and so you could do Instagram, right? And you can link in um, your, your, your link to your funnel there. Um, you can use uh, the links here on your, on, your, um, on your additional marketing. So say, for example, you're running Google ads. You can run Google ads that go straight to your funnel. Um, you can do uh, traditional print media e either, you know, have a, a, a postcard. Uh, some people do that EDM sort of thing. And you can put your funnel link as well. Click here to see if, uh, go here to see if you're a candidate. Like, you can use it anywhere. Um, which is the power there. And, and the benefit, again, is you're getting email addresses. So you can continue to market to people. And very interestingly, um, what I have seen with, with my students is that many times you will get people right away. But as we have learned, right, we've all learned uh, with marketing is sometimes it takes seven touch points before people actually make a decision. And so continuing to see the amazingness that you're doing, continuing to see your funnel, once they opt in, getting those emails, right? Or if it's going to be bot messages, um, you're going to continue to nurture them. And ultimately, uh, they will come in. And what's really interesting, guys, is I have so many patients that come in and I ask them, like, how did you hear about us? And, um, and, and interestingly, like so many of them, like, Oh, I saw you on Facebook or, Oh, something I typed in something online. Right. But a lot of times people are saying, um, I don't know, somebody told me about you. And, um, and that person may not even be a patient. Maybe they are afraid to go to the dentist, but they see what you're doing and they're going to tell other people. Right. So that's why once we, once we really focus on creating this process, um, it's going to reward us, um, indefinitely. All right. So again, the next logical step, sending them here, here's a typical page um, where people can go in um, to see if dental implants are right for you. They go in to take a quiz. Um, they learn a little bit about the procedure. 
There are questions asked, by the way, this is all built um, within ClickFunnels, okay? Um, ClickFunnels does have a quiz feature, which is so awesome. Um, so you can see here, you know, what is the biggest problem you're having with your teeth right now? Why haven't you solved it before? If you can fit it into your budget, would you be ready to start right away, right? So these are typically the types of questions that we ask, okay? And then they give us our email address, which is great, because now we can continue to market to them, right? And they continue to learn about us, right? And as you can see, warm traffic, zero $500 discount, right? Um, we don't have to do that, guys. We don't have to do that, all right? So we're sending people the next logical step. They get on our email list, or we could also, again, send them just to a page to book an appointment, right? Um, whether it's through a Facebook ad, a text ad with a photo, or a video, okay? That's an option, just sending people to a page to schedule, or what a lot of people may not even think about with ClickFunnels is you can actually write your blog post through that. So we write educational articles that are a page in our funnel, and maybe we say, want to know a little bit more about dental implants, read this, this article, right? And it's an educational article, and you can see here underneath the photo in the middle, uh, there is a call to action, which is sign up for a free dental implant consult, okay? And from there, they're taken to the same page again. Um, so it's the same funnel, same, same page, it's just a different layer or a different step in the funnel, all right? What's really cool is um, you can get those leads onto a lead sheet. You can have your team uh, call these people and pre-qualify them, which is really, really cool. I spoke about that in the book as well, um, is pre-qualifying people allows you to, number one, know if they're ready to get started right away. If not, then guess what? They can give you a call when they're ready or to see if it will fit into their budget. And if they don't, it won't, then you can offer them other options. Or you can say, you know what, just come in for a cleaning and we can discuss all, all of your options, right? Um, or you can say, um, this is what we're looking at. If you were to do monthly, this is what we're looking at. And so you know when they come in that they're going to be, they, they already know the cost. And interestingly, for a lot of dental practices, there's a lot of, there's a lot of beliefs and mindsets of owners and teams that people don't have the money. To be, able to, to be able to afford treatment. And so um, it does help a lot when people are pre-qualified because they know that the patients already have the fees, right? Um, that's a whole nother training <laughs> on how, how we get um, dental practices. And actually, you know what, let me just touch on it just a little bit because it's, it's pretty important. Um, so a lot of times what we find as marketers, right, um, as, as we run Facebook ads for healthcare or anyone, um, the leads is an issue, right? We get them leads and then they say, well, they didn't come in or they didn't close. And so a lot of times what's also necessary um, is really ensuring that the team has the knowledge of how to communicate on the phone, right? And so that's another thing that oftentimes is taken on um, either by a dental coach or consultant or taken on sometimes by the agency to really give the team those skills. And uh, without them having the knowledge, they would not know, right? So it's super powerful um, that the team does get the knowledge. That's one thing that I've really learned as now I've started to teach and coach teams communication. There, there are so many people that really, they really get stuck with that. And that's the reason why they're not closing those high value cases. All right, so just to show you a little results of my dental implant funnel. Um, so interesting, like, so I was saying before I teach Facebook marketing and funnels and stuff like that to dentists, right? And so um, I was doing a call and I was talking to them about like testing images. Oh, you can use this image or this image, right? And I was on the training and all of a sudden at the, um, at the end of it, like I pushed the ad, I showed, I'm like basically teach them how to run ads, right? At the end of it, what happened was like the next day, my team called me and they're like, Dr. Holmes, what did you do? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And they said, we've had like over a hundred people request appointments in a day. And I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to turn off that test ad. <laughs> um, at this point now, interestingly in our practice, we don't have to run as many funnels because we've been doing it for so long, but we continue to run funnels um, with a really low ad spin um, because we continue, like our funnels are just working so, so well because of what I taught you guys in the beginning, right? But this particular one, I was like, yeah, here's your budget um, of what you should do to get a lot of leads in fast. Um, and it, it worked. <laughs> um, so you can see here, um, this was one week 
and uh, we had uh, 197 to give us their uh, their email address for the quiz page, and we had 116 appointment requests, which is phenomenal, super phenomenal. All right, so um, phase three is building buzz and nurturing leads, and uh, we definitely want to continue to do that as we learn in uh, in our ClickFunnels community is how do we continue to drive traffic, right? Um, so that your funnels will continue to convert. And so a few things that we've done that's been really, really fun um, is we, um, we actually just did this in my practice, um, is a floss campaign. And the floss campaign is essentially um, patients taking a pledge that they would floss their teeth every day for 30 days. They actually signed it in the office, which can be shared on social, and they take it home, they put it in their mirror in their bathroom, and it just holds them um, accountable. What's really cool is now their, their family can see it, um, their spouse can see it, and you know, it, it creates a lot of awareness, which is really awesome. And again, sharing this on Instagram and Facebook is really cool. It shares that your, shows that your practice is a little different, a little bit unique. Again, continuing to build warm audiences. Um, people can enter from the Facebook ad. You can give a link of where they can download the pledge, upload it to social. Again, just keeps people um, in a loop and seeing that your practice is very, very different, right? So you want to continue to connect and build warm audiences. Um, a few other examples, again, are doing Q&As about your, your, your services. Um, super valuable to be able to do that. Just jump on and say, all right, guys, today we're talking about Anything you want to talk about with your teeth, I'm here, I'm the doctor, I'm here to answer questions, right? Powerful, powerful, right? Again, running Facebook ads to that. Um, interestingly, this particular uh, doctor uh, spent $12 uh, uh, on a Facebook ad boosting this out and just got a ton of traffic, which is awesome and engagement. Again, building up those warm audiences um, that she can use for her funnel. Um, doing patient testimonials is huge as well. Um, by the way, you want to make sure you're giving people a great experience, right? Giving them the opportunity to be able to see how your practice is different. Again, when we take patients from the front to back, we give them a tour, showing them around the office, pointing out our core values. The team talks about the one that matters most to them, you know, like, oh, we value building stronger communities. You know, last month we actually, um, we actually treated 100 kids for free or, you know, the one that resonates with me the most is um, we listen um, listening with, we have listened with two ears and one heart. Like that's the one that matters the most to me, right? Uh, pointing out the hot towel warmer, right? Um, those sort of things. Um, give people a great experience. And at the end, just ask them, how was your experience today? And when they say it was amazing, then you're like, you know what? It would mean the world to me if you just, um, if you would be willing to share your experience. There's so many people who are afraid to go to the dentist and you know what? It just might change someone's life. People are happy to do that. Um, don't ask the introverts. Ask the extro extroverts, the ones that are like, it was so awesome. Like those are the ones that love giving testimonials. And now you can turn that into a Facebook ad, a video ad, again, building up your warm audiences. Um, again, you can either drop your funnel link in there. Um, this patient had an amazing experience. Click here to schedule your consultation so that we, you can have the same amazing experience, right? Like that would be copy I want to use. Um, so you can put your funnel link right there. And again, as you're running the Facebook ad, you're also continuing to build up your warm audiences, which is so cool as well. All right, so phase four, days 81 to 100, we focus on running additional traffic to our campaigns. All right, so again, continuing, continuing, continuing. Um, to just do amazing and awesome stuff, right? Um, a, few other, um, a few other ideas are um, around holidays. You know, you can do a clothing drive um, to give to charity, which is great. Um, we did that in my practice, and uh, we were able to collect, like, a whole room full of clothes. People were coming in, dropping them off. It was right after Christmas, so people had, like, extra stuff that they didn't want anymore. We were like, we'll take it and give it to charity. When they came in to donate, they were like, oh, my gosh, this practice is amazing, right? And, again, people love this stuff. They will share it. They will like it. They will engage, engage with it. And again, building up those audiences, okay? Um, going out and doing charity events, giving money to charity um, is huge. Um, doing a video tour of your practice is huge. Showing people around behind the scenes. Um, and then also just sharing your culture. So uh, within our community, 
of Dennis and my coaching program, one of the things that we do is we really talk about team engagement and getting the team all aligned. And so we always have our team start with vision boards. Um, and so sharing things like that, your culture with your community is really powerful because again, people out there that are running Facebook ads or that are posting on Facebook, they're posting cartoons, right? They're posting quotes. They're posting an ad with every post that's saying, come in for your $39 cleaning. And so when you do this sort of stuff, you stand out and you're different and now your marketing works. All right, guys. So that is it um, for my presentation. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. You got learned lots of lessons and learning points and uh, I hope that you enjoy my chapter inside of the book. Thank you.